inside Jay's skull has been a little empty recently. So, time to start filling it up. I'll show you how I make my 3D printed lithophanes with Blender and Prusa Slicer. Okay, with the default cube, we're gonna nuke that. And then using the images as planes add-on in Blender, I'm gonna select the image that I wanna use. And it's gonna be this NASA image of the sun. I am going to turn off the denoise from my viewport just because it makes things rather slow. And I'll switch to right, orient. Images as planes uh, imports the image as a single face, but we're going to need a lot more to make a lithophane. So I'm just going to go and solidify this and apply that modifier right away. This gives us a little box where I can now select the top face and just go and subdivide this. Uh, I found that nine times works good for a nice square image for 10 by 10. Okay, so now I'm going to go and add a vertex group and assign these faces and vertexes to this group. We will need to use it later. Okay out of edit mode and let's go back to the modifiers now 10 polygons isn't enough so we're going to still have to go and add additional subdivisions we're going to use the simple method because i want to preserve the uh, corners and i'm going to turn this to two just while we work now using the displacement modifier i'm going to go and load the image that we used here we go, and again through practice I figured out that the best way to do this is to map it to the UV coordinates, change your direction to focus only on the z-axis, strength of negative 0 0.01, nope, negative 0.1, and a mid-level of 1. That's not bad. Now you'll see it's distorted the entire thing, so this is where saving the vertex group helps. We select flat and it applies the displacement only to the top face. And by going into the right side, you can now see the profile of the object you're gonna use for your. So now you want to select your object. You're gonna to wanna to go and export as an STL. And I'm just going to call it Sun Blender. And it's really important that you click Selection only, or else you'll have everything else in your scene. And then I'm going to just export. Okay, so in Prusa Slicer, just go and import your object, Sun Blender. I don't care about this pop up, so I'm just going to click Yes. So I'm going to go and scale it to 205 millimeters on the X and Y axis because I do want to leave space for a brim. And then the Z axis, I'm going to unlock the scales here and set it to two millimeters. Okay, so with the object here in the menu, I'm gonna go and right click to add in the infill options, the layers and perimeters options. And I'm also gonna go and add settings from infill for bottom fill pattern and top fill pattern. Okay. So we are going to want to set the fill pattern to 100%. It'll switch us to rectilinear. And that's really just so you don't have the pattern showing through on your print. I'm not going to use 0.05 ultra detail. I'm going to use 0.10 detail. Change the layer height here to 0.10. Perimeters, not really important. I'm just kind of using one here. Yeah, we're going to leave it at one perimeter. There's not really anything that's going to be needed, and this is going to be pretty much solid anyways. So we're going to do a quick test slice here, and it will take a little bit of time since we are dealing with uh, 0.1 millimeter layer heights. And there's also a fair bit of detail in the file so yes be patient perfect uh, this little error is still popping up so i guess i will have to dive into the print settings skirt and brim just to just 
stable little skirt. But you can now still see it's sliced. Uh, I did have some colors pre-selected here, as you see. And as I scroll through to view the layers, you'll see that there's this little plus button. If you click that, it triggers a layer change in the G code and allows you to do a manual filament change with the Prusa. You don't need the MMU2 to do this. If you are printing as a sphere, uh, I do recommend you use the Archimedean Chords fill pattern. It looks a lot nicer, but be warned if you're doing the 0.10 millimeter detail and the Archimedean Chords, it will probably take you 20 minutes to slice, but it will look a lot nicer when you do print it. Okay, so we're going to do one more slice here, and there we go. Took away the little brim. And 8 hours and 41 minutes, we will have a lithophane of the sun. And there you go. 7 hours later, you got a lithophane of the sun.